I'm Ike on the mic, and today we're going to talk about query folding. Query folding is a feature of Power Query that helps us reduce the amount of time it takes to refresh data into Power BI. It can also reduce the total amount of data that we bring into Power BI. Power Query chooses to use query folding under a very specific set of circumstances. Sometimes it won't use query folding at all, which is not that great. We should understand how Power Query uses query folding so we can take advantage of all it has to offer. First, let's dive into what query folding is. Here you can see Power Query. I brought in this table, sales.customers, into the tool. You can also see my applied steps here. If I change some steps, let's say that I rename this column to company. And let's say that I maybe remove a couple columns here. And finally, I'll just add a filter. Maybe I just want everybody in Anchorage, and I click OK. You can see that these steps got applied one after another. The tool makes it appear like first we grab all the data and we bring it into Power Query, and then we start applying these steps one, two, three. That's not what's actually happening. Power Query is modifying the original query that's being used to extract the data from the relational database system. You can see that if you right click on one of these steps and you look at View Native Query. This is the rename column. You can see that original column is company name and then you can see as company. That's a SQL alias. This is a SQL statement. If we go to the filtered rows, which is the last step, and look at View Native Query, you can see the final query here. You can see the column rename. You can see the columns have been removed. And finally, at the very bottom of the query, you can see the where clause, city equals Anchorage. Query folding allows us to reduce the amount of data that we're bringing into Power Query because by modifying the original query, when we go to extract it, it just runs that query on the source system. This has a few advantages. One, source systems tend to be these big beefy servers with lots of memory, lots of power, much bigger than whatever desktop machine we're running on Power BI. And that, as a result, we're offloading all of those cleaning and transformation steps onto those servers. In addition, knowing the query that Power BI is going to use to extract the data, we can hand that query to a DBA and we can say, please create indexes on these tables to make this faster. This allows us to refresh our data much quicker. So if we're refreshing our data periodically throughout the day, that data will appear to our users much faster. Query folding only works in a very specific set of circumstances. It affects certain data sources and it affects certain transformations. Query folding will work with SQL Server, Oracle, and other relational database systems. It will not work with like a file like Excel or with like a CSV. Query folding also only works with specific transformations like you saw here with the rename column. But if you do something else like change a data type, query folding will not work. Power BI will not modify the original query. If you change a data type and do a few other transformations, it goes back to what you thought it would do originally, which is extract the data, and then run these transformations step by step by step. So far, you saw query folding work when I grabbed a table from a SQL server into Power Query. But what happens if we want to write a query by hand? For instance, if I go into get data and I say SQL server, and I say localhost t SQL version four, and under here under advanced options, I write a select statement, select star from sales.orders. Now I click OK and I bring in the orders table here. Let's go ahead and look at transform data and come and open up Power Query again. I might want to rename this uh, query. This is uh, sales.orders, right? Okay. And let's right click and let's, uh, oh, we no longer have view native query, do we? Let's pretend that I have a complicated query that I hand wrote that I want to use to extract data from SQL Server. And I also want to participate in query folding. What I would do is open up whatever relational tool you use. Uh, in our case, for SQL Server, we use SQL Server Management Studio or Azure Data Studio. 
And what we do is we just create a view. Name the view, like we'll just call it um, test view sales orders as, and then the query. Views in a relational database system are just saved queries. Now to test this, I can go back to Power Query, grab my data source, and you can see the view there just like normal. And I click OK. I import the data. Here's my view. Let's say that I remove some columns that I don't want. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Remove other columns. I right click and look, view native query. I am back to participating in query folding. So if you want to use query folding, remember, extract data from a table. And if you have a complicated query that you want to use, use a view. And that's it. Now that you know how query folding works, you're well on your way to making your data refreshes faster and reducing the amount of data that you bring into Power BI. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.